to welcome everybody to today's session. And the session is um, themed personality traits. And the presenter for today's session is going to be myself, uh, Mrs. Mfeka, and my other colleague, Ukwintre Sifala. Um, we thought it, um, we thought that it was important that we start uh, the, the training session with um, issues around identity and some of the soft skills that set us apart so that we are then able to um, position ourselves better uh, when we're looking to get ourselves into business or we're looking at uh, finding new jobs. Um, right, so what's the agenda for today? So on the menu today, we're going to be looking at the session's objectives. Uh, we're going to have a look at uh, uh, personality traits, so the difference between personalities and personality traits. Uh, we're also going to be introduced to the five-factor model. Uh, we will be speaking br briefly about the, fa uh, the facets of traits. Um, and then we go we're also going to look at... Um, beyond uh, the five-factor model. So what's beyond the traits that are beyond uh, the indicated model? Um, and then we're going to be looking at variables that influence personality behavior. Uh, we'll also delve or look into ourselves uh, and see if we are able to define ourselves um, as, as, as required. And then we're going to be uh, looking at how we can look at this model that we'll be looking at and see how that model can assist us in our career search, and then we'll close the session. As you can see, the menu is quite packed, so we'll be going through the slide quite quickly. But if we're moving too fast, just indicate on the chat box so that one of the co-facilitators can indicate to myself that I'm moving too fast or you can even un unmute quickly and just say that I'm moving too fast so that we, we make sure that we, we carry everyone along. Right, so the objectives of this session are to get ourselves, or rather to get to understand ourselves better, uh, because I think once we, we, we understand ourselves better, we then able to, like I said earlier, position ourselves um, for the market that we're going to go to. Uh, we also um, will be looking at understanding the skills that we have, our strengths, our shortcomings, and seeing how that we can use those to better ourselves. And then we're also going to speak about a very important element of embracing ourselves and, and looking at why it's important to embrace ourselves. And I think most importantly, today's session is to raise awareness on how we, we can use our personality traits to build our career paths. And I think the invitation alluded to that at a, at a larger, on a larger scale. Right. So um, we decided to include the slide that's currently showing because I think it sets the core, or rather it sets the foundation of why today's session will focus more on the, on the personality traits and not necessarily um, much on the careers. You'll see that within the image, there's a leather right at the back. So we, can, we must imagine ourselves um, climbing that ladder in terms of our career path. But what's at the foundation of climbing this ladder that's called, called the career, career path are uh, the very soft skills or the, the personality traits that build, build us. So you will see that on the left, we speak about skills, about value, about the expertise that we may or may not have, uh, co competencies, responsibilities, and all sorts of soft skills that are there to sort of set the foundation on building what's on, what sits on the right. So you'll see that under skills, um, right at the bottom, you'll see that it says trainee or computer operator. You will note that you aren't able to, you're not necessarily able to be that trainee or a computer operator if you haven't gained enough skill to sort of set yourself apart, uh, apart and, and, and sort of, 
as a guide, a guiding light uh, to, to, to make sure that you are able to move in, in, in the career path. So what, in, what we are saying in essence is that it's important to, to um, focus your lens directly on yourself and make sure that you build on self and make sure that you are, you are firmly grounded in understanding yourself such that when you go out there and trying to move into, into the different careers, you know that it is directed by yourself in full and that you're not going to crumble in the middle, in the middle. Right. So let's, let's get into the, 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 the focus of today's session. Uh, we, we did allude to the fact that we, we're going to be looking at personality as a definition. And when you define personality, it speaks about the characteristic ways that people, people differ from one. So for the purposes of this session, we'd like for us to look at personality as the umbrella term uh, in which we, we speak about different characteristics of people. So it's not, it does, it, it's not zooming on any particular person, but when you, we're looking at pers personality, we're looking at a range of characteristics uh, that then lead, that, which then leads us to the next term, which is personality traits. This term personality traits, you'll see it includes the term personality, but when you look at traits, it then zoom, it, it, it then almost merges it and makes it a smaller um, focus, uh, which focuses on you as a person and the different dimensions that you have, the different dimensions um, that defines you. Or, or, or makes you differ from other people. Basic dimensions of, of which um, defines you or makes you different from other people. So when we look at um, personality traits in this regard, what we're looking at, we're looking at what is it that sets you apart? What is it in your character um, that defines you as a human being? Right. So what we have looked at now, uh, in essence, is the fact that when we're speaking about personality traits, we're speaking about consistency. So what is it in your character that remains the same whether you're when you are at home or, or at work or in a public space or in a private space? So when we're talking about personality traits, we're looking at things that are consistent with you, things that will not be changed by anything. And that's what defines who, who you are. The second thing that we're looking at when we're speaking about personality traits is the issue around stability. Um, this is quite debatable because a lot of people and a lot of um, research speaks to uh, that stability only um, when it comes to our personality traits, stability only kicks in when you're around the ages of, of 30 to 40. However, we've identified that there's people that are quite stable in, the, in, 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 in their characters, even when they are 20. So this is, 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 is varied in, 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 in numerous ways. Uh, but there is the element of stability when we are speaking about personality traits. And the last thing that we, 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 we are looking at when you're looking at personality traits are issues are around individual differences. Like I said earlier, what is it that sets you apart? What is it that stands out for you? Um, and what is it that sets you apart as a person? So you will see later on in the presentation that you know these character um, personality traits have been split in various ways. Uh, there's different models that we speak about, uh, but um, it's important that we note the three uh, personality trait uh, found foundations or the things, the three main things that define a uh, personality traits. So I'm going to stop now. I'm going to stop here and um, allow my colleague Usengiwe to take over. 
Um, I don't know if Sengi, are you are you connected? Are you online? Hello? Right. So I'm picking up that my colleague is not online. So what I'll do is I'll carry on. Um, and the, the, the next slide speaks about the big five that we spoke about earlier. And I want us to, when I speak about the big five model, I want us to be open-minded and imagine an ocean. And you will see that the the abbreviation as it stands, uh, it, it's when you look at on the left-hand side, it, it says ocean. So that's the vastness in terms of, of personalities or characteristics that are available out there. So at the heart of it all is that there's the personality and with, within that personality, there's different, um, there's different segments. Of, 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 of the, the, the personality segments are split into five. And this is why it's called the big five. And within the five, you will see that one is speaks to openness. Um, the, the next one speaks to uh, consciousness. The, ex, the, the next one speaks to extraversion. Um, the other one is agreeable. Uh, and the last one is neurotism. Now, under each of these, there's different characteristics uh, that form this, this one particular um, uh, personality. So I'm going to hand over now to my colleague who's now managed to join the session, and she will take us through the, the next slide, which breaks down the, the, the different segments or the different parts of the different big five character, uh, characteristics. So she'll help us break each one of them down and possibly look at uh, different examples of what we're speaking about so that we can have a bigger and a broader conversation later. Uh, Sengi, are you connected now? Um, yes, I am, uh, Matapelo. Lovely stuff, thank you so much. But, um, Thanks so much, Matsapelo, for holding the fort. Um, yeah, that's the issue with the internet in South Africa. Okay, so um, perhaps let me um, let me just say before we move on to the next slide, let me explain to you how this um, information and this knowledge is going to um, assist you in um, like finding a workplace environment that matches your, uh, your personality. So I want you to understand that, okay, one would ask, okay, why do we need to know this? Um, the thing is, uh, you know, when um, employees, um, you know, one of the things that they do or one of the tests that they, um, they, they actually do is uh, it includes the personality traits uh, test. So it's, it's, it's helpful for you to understand uh, the big five because it's very popular and um, commonly used uh, by different companies. Right, um, let's now get started and then unpack um, these uh, traits. The first one is openness. Matapelo, uh, can you help me with moving the slides? All right. There you go. So openness. So openness is defined as the tendency to appreciate new art, ideas, values, uh, feelings, and behaviors. Um, so what we have uh, decided to do with the team is to use uh, facets, you know, to, um, to present each trait so that it's it's you you are able to relate as well as to make it authentic so in this case we have used who is this person anyone who is this it's so yes it's saying it's so mizzy right 
Now, um, we will get back to, right. Um, so, Mizi, you would identify him as a person, I mean, from his ideas and uh, diverse behaviors, um, and also what um, what uh, one could say about um, an individual who is high in openness is that uh, they enjoy seeing people with new types of hair cuts and body piercing. Um, they, you know, they are curious, imaginative, and untraditional. Right, so let's move on to the next one, which is um, conscientiousness. Right, uh, when it comes to um, conscientiousness, um, we're talking about an individual here who is careful, who is in time and appointment, someone who follows rules, someone who is hardworking. Of course, Lindy, where this is uh, VC, right? Um, let me not be personal here. I'm tempted to say uh, VC is, is, is one of, you know, of the people I, I, I have a high esteem of. Right, so that is um, the Vusi industriousness, you know, that Vusi orderly, dutiful, achievement oriented, uh, self disciplined. Um, he is promoting that. And now, someone who is low, because when we, um, when we speak of a trait, you'll find that you do have that trait, but you it's either you are high or you are low right so if you are low in consciousness may you may prefer a spare of the moment action to planning uh, i'm sure you're thinking of um of, of individuals who are like that um at times unreliable they are kelex they are lexi you know those are the types of people who are low on consciousness Right, so let us move on to um, the next uh, trait. Our next trait is extra virgin. Who is this? Yes, Lydia, well done. Um, this is Trump, Trump Donald. Right, now, who is this person? This person is defined as uh, someone who has a tendency to be talkative, um, social dominance, um, and they enjoy other people. Um, right, and then people who are high in extraversion may be the life of the party, they enjoy uh, hanging around other people, um, yeah. And then someone who is low, they may prefer like a quiet night uh, compared to a, a party. And you know, people who are low on extraversion, they are perceived as unenthusiastic. And maybe someone would call them introversion, which is the opposite of extraversion. Right. Um, that is uh, Donald. Um, in fact, it's quite interesting when you uh, when you read uh, Donald Trump um, bibliography because um, you wouldn't um, associate uh, Donald Donald with an extra version in terms of um, in, in in terms of um, being sociable. Um, yeah, right. So let us move on to the next one. Trait number four. With trait number four, which is agreeableness. Right. With agreeableness, we're looking at someone who has a tendency to agree and go along with others, you know, um, who is a peacemaker you know, someone who, who asserts one's own opinions and, and, and choices. Um, you're looking at someone who is straightforward and helpful at the same time, trusting, forgiving, who has um, a tender heart, 
uh, who is good, uh, natured, and modest. Right. It's quite it's quite interesting that um, Mandela carry uh, such traits. Yet he is a politician. Right. And then um, let's look at someone who is low in agreeableness. Um, might that person might quickly and confidently assert their own rights and opinion, irritable, manipulative, rude, and uncooperative. So that's that's if you are low on agreeableness. Now, when I say you high or you low, uh, it's because uh, to measure yourself where you are in the poll, you would take a test and then it will tell you whether you are low or you are high. Right. And uh, the last one. Right. The last one is uh, neuroticism. Okay. Right. Thanks, uh, thanks so much, Matopelo. Right. Neuroticism. Uh, while I explain or while I define neuroticism, I would like you to think of a face that we can put in there under neuroticism. Now, neuroticism, we're talking, we're talking about uh, someone who has a tendency to frequently, exp uh, underline the word frequently, experience negative emotions because, I mean, all humans, you know, we do experience um, negative in, in emotions. But if it is frequent, then you are, uh, you are neurotic. And then someone who, who has anger, someone who worries a lot and uh, who carries sadness, as well as being interpersonal sensitive, who is highly sensitive. Right. Um, someone who is um, neurotic, they may constantly worry about little things. They are insecure and frequently feel inadequate. I ask you to think of a face. Or if 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 you if if you're comfortable, you you may say, Oh, this is me. Is there anyone who can think of a face? A celebrity who falls under this category. Hmm? Now remember, when we say we're putting a face, it's it, it, it's 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 our observation of an individual behavior. Um, we 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 discuss this with our colleagues and say, okay, like um, my colleague Matapeli said. You know what? Uh, actually, one of the people who are featured in other traits, they fit in perfectly here. And I said, you know what? I fully agree with you, Matabelo. And who is that? Who can take a guess? Who is that? From the faces featured from the previous traits. <laughs> there you go. Yes, uh, Queen and Lindy, where it's, it's Trump, uh, with no doubt. Uh, yeah. You can see it from his speech on how he, you know, actually um, relate to people. Right. Now we have uh, defined these five traits, uh, which uh, falls under the five factor model. Right. Now, we don't want to put you in a box to say these are the uh, traits. We want you to also understand that um, there are other traits beyond the five-factor model. In fact, there are models um, which are, I mean, there, there is a vast um, models uh, which falls under personality traits. And um, some of those uh, uh, traits like need for achievement, need for cognition, perfectionism, narcissism, which is very close um, to... Uh, to, 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 to the um, naughty one, and then the self-esteem, uh, personality trait, optimism, impulsivity. Those are the, um, the best uh, traits which are available other than the 
uh, five factor model because one may say, you know what, um, that's the, the five factor model. I don't see myself fitting in so much into those. Of course, there are other um, there are other traits other than other than the ones listed in the five factor model. Now, having said so, um, we decided, you know, as a team that we would like to share the process that we went through when we were deciding on which face to use which Over to you, Matapelo. So Umatapelo is going to take us through that process. Right. Thank you so, so much, uh, thank you for, for the breakdown. So right, um, I have taken you back now to the start to the to the to one of the slides that we started with. Um, and I wanted us to look at the three terms that we worked with earlier. Um, and then looking, we'll look at the terms, right? And then after looking at the terms, the ideal situation is that you quickly take a picture of these terms. Um, and then we'll move on to the actual examples that we were working on. And I think for this exercise, what we will do is we will work with perhaps just two of, 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 of the characteristics or the, 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 two peop, uh, the first two people that we had a look at, right? So the first, per, um, the, the, the first face, face set or the first trait was um, the person was also easy. And I think a lot of us would, would, would agree to this particular, um, to this particular trait because um, there's consistency so easy wherever you find him. He's, he's very open. Uh, about his feelings, um, and he he he's diverse in thinking. I mean, you find him in idols. You find him everywhere where the, the, there's there's a need for a life. You find Um and he's not withdrawn. He's he's open to new people. He's open to ideas. I never would have thought that someday Usomizi would have his own cooking show. Um, and, and I knew him as a, a, a beautiful dancer. But what do you know? He's got an amazing cooking show. And whether or not people um, understand his style of cooking, whether or not he sticks to the standard way of how chefs cook, um, there's been ongoing conversation around Somizi and how he does his uh, cooking. Um, when you compare him to how an, an, a, a, a qualified chef uh, would be cooking. However, Usomizi finds himself in that space and his character is not changing. Even when he's interviewing his guests, he's, he's very open. He asks the most bizarre questions within the show and he's open-minded. He, he doesn't, he's not limited by the space. And the fact that he He's open about all sorts of conversation. I mean, it's a cooking show, but he's forever talking about dating. He's forever uh, wanting to know about uh, people's families and their lives. And he, I remember one of the shows he was speaking to um, Umule Mojukju. And in that show, he was speaking uh, about the, 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 the conversation that nobody wants to talk about. Uh, and that's Umule being in prison. But Usomizu was there in a cooking show speaking about Mlemo and prison. So I think this uh, particular face set fits this openness part uh, particularly well because of the type of person Usomizu is and how he is consistent throughout all his endeavors. And this creates a certain level of stability because there's no way you will find Usomizu all dull and bored. I mean, Usomizi was Somizi even when he was uh, down and out financially. Um, and this is what sets Usomizi apart. Without this character that, that oozes out of Usomizi, then we don't have a Somizi. So if you take that life out of Somizi, then Usomizi is non-existent 
we have to find ourselves a different Somizi. Um, the second person that I want us to focus on is the is is, is the facet of Um Uvusi. Um, Uvusi, I've been following him for some time, and with within all his uh, uh, conversation, he seeks to set himself apart because he understands that if you set yourself apart, then you've got limited competition. So he's got that brain, that acumen that speaks to being com co uh, competent. Um, and when you see him, you hardly see Uvusi in general sportswear or in jeans and unkept. It's in his nature to look presentable and is almost always in a suit with a tie, um, in a nice nice suit and, and, and very neat. He's also very um, self-disciplined and he's deliberate in how he, he presents himself at all times. What we also note here, once again, is, is the element of being consistent and, and being conscious at all times to uh, present himself in a particular way. So, and which again brings up a, 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 that element of stability uh, and, and, which, and, 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 and that's what sets him apart. I mean, there's a whole lot of public speakers out there, but when you look at Uvusi against all the other public speakers, you can tell that this is Vusi's signature because of how he carries himself, how he looks, and how he always looks looks for the com competition within 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 his space. So once again, it speaks to the the facets or the traits that we were speaking about. So I would like us to take a moment. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Um, and this is an exercise that uh, we were meant to start with. But I would like each of us to take a moment and just quickly jot down five uh, traits about you or five traits that define who you are. If you can quickly write them down on a piece of paper or quickly tap, type those in, 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 in the chat box for us to have a look. We literally have a minute for this exercise, so it would be lovely to get some feedback so that we look at how this then links with the exercise that we've just, we've just completed. When you're done, uh, just to alert you, we will ask you to turn on your video camera. Um, then you would show us um, where you have written down your traits. If you're comfortable, as Sumata Pelo has uh, mentioned, um, please feel free to use the chat. Right. Uh, we have a response from Ouku in Sifala. I'm just going to give a few seconds for someone else to drop in the chat box. Or um, if you, if you uh, have written them down on a piece of paper, excuse me, um, just switch on your video quickly and show us a picture so that we, we do a quick screen grab and we talk briefly about why we're doing this exercise, right? Thank you, Lindy Wezamini. Um, Lindy we has responded. So I'm going to wait for two more responses before we carry on. So we've got two, we'll wait for two more and then um, we'll carry on with the presentation. Does anyone else want to share in the chat box? Or if you have a picture of it, just show us a picture using video and then we'll, 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 we'll carry on. 
Right. So there aren't any. Um, okay, there's another one. Thank you, Rehumudi um, for that response. Um, so I'm not going to allow more time for this activity. So there's one that's showing a picture, uh, but I'm not able to read, unfortunately. Um, can you unmute yourself quickly and just speak in the mic? Fairness and patience. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm getting more responses in the chat box. Uh, thank you, uh, Tami Madela uh, and Tabang Baloi. So I'm quickly going to read the responses that we have received that far, so far, so that we have an idea of the people that we have in the group. So um, Quinn says, um, loud spoken, outgoing, excellent communication, hardworking, adventurous. Lindy Wa says, defiant, creative, pioneer, open, honest, honest and vocal. Rehumudi says, gratitude, social intelligence, fa fairness, humility. Um, and Tami says, organized, outgoing, helpful, creative. Tabang says, pioneer, openness, extrovert, peacemaker, assertive. And, and Tsupeng says, quiet, forgiving, honest, outgoing, adventurous. Uh, thank you. I'm very pleased um, to share with you that we actually have a group of people that know themselves very well. And I think this takes us um, a step further. So the reason why I wanted us to uh, look at self is, the, is, is set around the importance that you will note that when we're speaking of um, um, celebrities, it's very easy for us to pick up and say, if I were to say Somizi and we hadn't included all those characteristics, I'm sure we would have come up with a very similar list. And it's because when we look at the next person, it's very easy for us to just share um, what the person is or how the person comes across. But it's very unheard of or very unfamiliar, uh, an unfamiliar space where we have to look at ourselves and look at the qualities that we have. Because once you're able to do that, it says you have the awareness of who you are. And because you have this awareness of who you are, you're then able to carry yourself in the direction that you want to take yourself. It makes it so much easier because the awareness is what helps you build on, on where you want to go. So I'm going to stop now and appreciate the fact that the, the group of people we have here are sort of ready to sort of venture into the, the different spaces that they, 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 they want to, to, to experiment with. Uh, and I'm sure it won't be a harder a, a journey because there is that awareness of their personality uh, and their personality traits. Thank you so much for the interaction that we had. Thank you, I'm going to uh, hand over to you. Hello, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, my mic is muted and I, I'm, I'm speaking to myself. Thanks so much, Matapelo. This is very exciting and I'm so happy to be part of the young people who know themselves, who know who they are. That's very exciting. Now, let us move on to the next slide. We now want to look, uh, look at the variables which influence our behavior because how we behave it's through an influence of something right so the first influence uh, or the first um variable is yourself is the person is the person in terms of the skills as well as the abilities I'm going to make an example. For example, if you um, if if you go to um, if you join a company, 
And uh, where you go to, where, when you join that company, you possess high skills which are required by your role. Surely your behavior, your confidence, and how you carry yourself will be influenced by the skills that you bring in to the organization or to that particular company. Whereas the other person who has perhaps who, who may who may not have sufficient skills in that pass in that particular organization or, or that company, the manner in which they would carry themselves would be will also be different. Even their behavior uh, would would portray that the skills they they possess influences how they behave. The personality, the list goes on. Your own perceptions about um, about life, your own perceptions about how you view um, how how you view um, life, or how you view yourself, or how you view other people, your own attitudes, values, and ethics. And then we move on to say another variable is your environment. Matapelo, if you can uh, click. Another factor is your environment. Where you grow up, where you work, the job that you do, as well as your personal life has an influence on how you behave. Um, as much as we have said that, we want to conclude by saying a person can be changed by the situations. So you may find that who you are and the behaviors you portray are not are not your true self, but they are affected by your skills, personality, perceptions, morals, as well as your environment. Or another person, because of their attitude, they may be in a similar environment, but they change the environment itself or they change the situation regardless of no matter what the environment is, then it takes us back to personality traits. Right, you see a formula there. The formula is your behavior is most likely equals to or influenced by yourself or your environment, but not limited to these two. Today, we've decided to just share these two. There are other factors as well. Right. Now, I'm going to hand over the mic to Quinn, um, who will take you through um, the personality assessment uh, conversation. Over to you, Quinn. All right, um, let me share my screen. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the session so far. So we will jump right into the personality test. So earlier on today, we had sent out the link to personality test um, just so that you could try it out and see and see what is your personality. Um, so basically what you need to understand by a personality test is that it gives you a, an insight of how you are or rather how you react to certain situation. And it also helps you to find the skills that you need um, to, to choose an occupation that suits your need. So as I've said, um, is there anyone that has done the the personality test and how did you feel about it 
Can I just have a few people share about that? So how did you, like, did, was it um, accurate with who you are? Um, how do you feel about it? Just to share. I know mine was accurate in terms of how I am. I'm very open. I'm, I'm a lively person. I could say I'm a mini so when I want. Um, but also I like the fact that it gave me a broad um, aspect in terms of the five personal, um, the five personality traits that are there because the truth is every one of us has a bit of that trait um it could be high it could be low but you have it in you so how did you find it was it relevant to you just before we move to the next slide you can unmute your mic and share if you have done the test if you haven't done the test um there's a personality trait test in uh, in our chat box so you can just click on the link and all right. I see Paul says that it was more of knowing yourself and my behavioral response with others around me. Great. That's great. Any any other person that has done the test as well? Um, I can share, Queen. Um, my results confirmed what I already know about myself and somehow it gave me affirmation, you know, to 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 know that this is me. All right, that's great. So like I said, um, using the big five test helps you um, better understand yourself or rather confirm certain um, personalities about you. So research decisively shows that there's a higher score on extroversion that are associated with greater happiness and broader social connections and um skills that are with rather careers that go hand in hand with the openness trait is your event planner and your personal trainers mainly because they are excellent communicators they know how to present better and they are more of a so easy type and then also consciousness sorry about that that's a big word predict greater success in school and at work and with that personality trait, we're looking at accountant, at sell and sales managers, which have skills such as attention to details, analytical skills, and critical thinking, mainly because they work with a lot of numbers or rather convincing a lot of customers to join. And then we have extroversion, tour guide, and pilot, which also stand with um, being a great communicator, um also having great presentation skills and being honest with um your your people as well and then we have ag agreeableness agreeableness which is assorted with deeper relation relationships so a teacher human resource specialist which mainly deals with people skills um your people skills being able to teach others and having what's that skill well having ways to just impact people's lives and then you have the emotional stableness our social workers who are great with again communication who are honest who just looking at um some of your um personality traits who are generous who are patient and caring um who are honest um and these are some of the personality traits that i get from the comments as you have posted about yourselves so some of you have that caring and patience like oh clamarissa who is loyal who's patience who's caring and hardworking. i don't know if social work is for you but clearly you have a personality that could lead to to such um a career focus in conclusion, um, like we said, there are different ways in terms of um, understanding the different personality traits. And like we said, um, this can help you get a better understanding of yourself so you could better understand
the skills that you have, um, which takes us to our last slide. What makes you stand out? Among all the thousands of people out there in this world, what makes you pop? What makes you stand out? What makes you, what makes you remarkable? What makes you say, hey, I'm good at this and I know this would work for me. I am good at this. I know I can go for this job. I am great at this. I know I can open this business. What makes you remarkable? And then that will be it from us. Um, our references are like that. We would like to thank all um, our website researchers and so forth. And like we said, follow us on Facebook to be informed on Instagram, on LinkedIn. We are everywhere on YouTube. We would like to hear from you. Um, this would be that from me. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. If you have any questions, please do drop them in the chat box or you can unmute your mic and do ask the questions. Thank you so much. That it will be it from